Analysis of Academic Progress is your guide to completing your degree at Montclair State. It is important to note whether you are looking at your primary program or a modeling program. Primary program is the major that you are accepted into the university as. Every analysis will begin by listing the college of your major, followed by your degree and major, and the catalog year of the curriculum that you are following. The next section, Selected Student Data, lists any transfer institutions, transfer credits awarded, and total credits earned. In-progress credits refers to credits that you are currently registered for. The next line shows minimum credits required for a degree and minimum credits required for the major, followed by overall credits to date that are applicable to the minimum credits required and overall credits that are applicable to the major. Requirements, waivers, and adjustments. This section lists all requirements that have been waived because of previous coursework completed. If you transferred in 15 or more credits, your new student seminar and national and global issues requirements will be waived. You should see a waiver similar to this on your audit. Section 2. Academic Requirements Remaining. This section is broken down into a few different parts, beginning with general information. This section contains information pertinent to all undergraduate students, including information about application for graduation deadlines and minimum credits to complete a degree at Montclair State. Transfer student information. This section contains information that relates directly to transfer students and explains some of the sections of the audit and requirements that you must follow as a transfer student at Montclair State. This is followed by overall credits and GPA, and the residence requirement. The residence requirement refers to the number of credits that you must complete at Montclair State. You will then see the actual requirements that you must complete beginning with the general education requirements. It is, it is within this section that you will see what courses you need to take in order to complete your degree. As you review this section, take note of any courses you are required to take. If you feel that you have completed similar coursework at your previous school, that the audit is still listing as outstanding, you may need to have some of your transfer courses evaluated. We will discuss this further when we review Section 3. The general edu education includes core courses such as scientific issues and distribution requirements which cover several areas of study including writing and speech, the arts and humanities, math science and computer science, physical education, and the social sciences. Under each heading, there will be directions as to the number of courses and which courses will complete each requirement. For example, under Fine and Performing Arts, the directions are to complete one course from the following, and you must choose one of the courses on that list. Following the general education requirements, you will see the World Culture, World Language requirement. This requirement is never waived, but can be fulfilled through transfer credits. After the World Culture heading, you will then see the courses required for your major. Again, read each category carefully as it will tell you exactly what courses you need to take in order to complete each requirement. For example, to complete all of the political science major required courses, this student must take POLS 100, 101, 200, 201, 202, and 360. Section 3. Academic Requirements Completed or in Progress As a transfer student, this is the section that will show you how your transfer credits were applied to your program of study at Montclair State. Any courses that apply to a category of the general education or your major will be listed under the heading it completes. Courses that were transferred will be listed by the course ID of your previous school on the right-hand side and by their Montclair equivalent on the left-hand side. Free electives. Free electives count towards the 120 credits needed to graduate. Courses are listed as free electives if they do not complete a specific category of the general education or a major requirement. If, after reviewing your audit, you feel that the audit is listing courses as outstanding that you completed at your previous school, you should review Section 3 for courses listed as DPTs. Courses that are listed with this requirement do not have an exact equivalent in our database so the system has listed them based on topical area. For example, this student has an EMGL DPT. He took an English course, but our system doesn't know exactly what that course is. In this situation, in this situation, John would review his audit, see if he has an English course to take, and then review the course catalog. 
to see if this his transfer course is similar to what is being required at Montclair State. If it is, John may want to have this course evaluated by the English department to see if this course can count towards his writing requirement. Not all DPTs need to be evaluated. For example, if you have a number of courses that are dance DPTs and you are a biology major at Montclair State, you can leave those credits as DPTs because you are not required to take any similar courses as a biology major. Make sure to read your audit carefully and completely to ensure that you understand the requirements for your degree at Montclair State.